Something there is that doesn't love a wall that sends the frozen ground swell under it and spills the upper boulders in the sun and makes gaps even two can pass abreast. The work of hunters is another thing. I have come after them and made repair where they have left not one stone on a stone, but they would have the rabbit out of hiding to please the yelping dogs, the gaps I mean. No one has seen them or heard them made, but at spring mending time, we find them there. I let my neighbor know beyond the hill and on a day we meet to walk the line again and set the wall between us once again. We keep the wall between us as we go. To each the boulders have fallen to each, and some are loaves and some so nearly balls. We have to use a spell to make them balance. Stay where you are until our backs are turned. We wear our fingers rough with handling them. Oh, just another kind of outdoor game. One on a side, it comes to a little more. There, where it is, we do not need the wall. He is all pine, and I am apple orchard. My apple trees will never get across and eat the cones under his pines, I tell him. He only says, good fences make good neighbors. Spring is the mischief in me, and I wonder, if I could put the notion in his head, why do they make good neighbors? Isn't it where there are cows? But here there are no cows. Before I built the wall, I'd ask to know. What was I walling in or walling out? Something there is that doesn't love a wall, that wants it down. I could say elves to him, but it's not elves exactly, and I'd rather he said it for himself. I see him there, bringing a stone grass furling by the top, in each hand like a stone savage armed. He moves in the darkness as it seems to me, not of woods, only of the shade and trees. He will not go behind his father's saying, and he likes having the thought of it so well. He says again, good fences make good neighbors. Okay, so the speaker identifies himself in the beginning when, as one of the neighbors, when he says, I have come after them and made repair, and, and on a day we meet to walk the line. So he's one of the neighbors. And he also identifies himself as the neighbor who is ultimately against the wall or confused as to why the wall is necessary. When he says, when he questions the neighbor after he says, good fences make good neighbors, he said, why do they make good neighbors? And he goes on to question his opinion. And the occasion is the two neighbors are meeting um, they say, and on a day we meet to walk the line and set the wall between us once again. We keep the wall between us as we go. So when he says once again, that tells us that the neighbors have met multiple times to build this literal and metaphorical wall between them. So this is just them building it up again. And the audience refers to the other neighbor that is for the wall. And the speaker is writing this to ask why the wall is necessary and give his opinion. Um, he says, he is all pine and I am all apple orchid. My apple trees will never get across and eat the cones under his pines, I tell him. So... He's trying to, like, make the other neighbors see that they don't need the wall and that their paths will never cross. They don't need this um, symbol of separation between them. And the purpose, um, although the wall seems harmful and um, damaging to a relationship, um, the purpose is to show that sometimes fences or boundaries are necessary to maintain a healthy relationship and the speaker has a hard time seeing the other neighbor's point of view um, and the other neighbor is trying to say that they need this separation between them because they have to keep balance and he says we have to use a spell to make them balance um, so it's like the relationship needs this wall 
so that they can remain healthy. And the subject is referring to a man's need for independence or territory. Um, the neighbor that is for the wall is representing um, the need for territory and um, how people build up emotional walls um, is reflected through or represented through the literal wall. Um, how people build up emotional walls to avoid strife or conflict and the neighbor feels that this literal wall is necessary to avoid that. And the overall tone um, of the speaker remains inquisitive throughout the entire poem. Um, he's questioning the other neighbor's opinion and it's hard for him to see um, from another point of view as to why the wall is necessary.